Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your third GIMP tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you some of the tools in GIMP. So uh, as you can see, I've made a new project. Um, so uh, there. Now I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool. And when I uh, hold, uh, when I drag it, it'll make a line wherever I move the mouse. So, um, and as you can see, it's kind of fuzzy. Uh, so if you want to change how fuzzy it is, or you want to change the brush, um, go to uh, go to the image of the brush right down here in Tool Options, and click on it, and you'll have a whole list full of uh, brushes that you can use. So you can use uh, one that's uh, less fuzzy, but it's still not. 100% rigid or you can use a fully rigid brush or you can uh, use some peppers or uh, you can change the size of the brush too so um, you can have big peppers or you can uh, um, have a really big brush and you can change how opaque it is too so if I uh, want this I can go and it'll look kind of gray so um if i want to undo anything um you either go to the undo history and uh undo the last operation and you can redo it um or you can go to edit and undo and redo whatever or you can press Control z which is like the default um undo uh keyboard shortcut for like almost any program on the computer and uh, you can also um, if you want to erase anything just go to the eraser tool and I'm just going to tone this down a bit uh, there you go so um, so I can erase um, marks I've made so I can uh, like erase it and um, it'll erase nice so um, and also you can change the brush on the eraser so you can have uh, fuzzy eraser marks so that's also really nice and um, and let me see there's the pencil tool which is kind of like the uh, paintbrush but I think um, it just has rigid edges I'm not sure you can make it um, yeah, I think it's like just rigid edges. I don't think you can get um, like a hardness levels on it. I think it's like 100% all the time uh, rigid. So you can uh, use the, uh, what is it, the airbrush tool. And it'll look like an airbrush. And uh, if I go back on where I already drew, you can, uh, you can see it'll make it darker and darker in those areas. So, um, then you can, um, then I think there's the zoom tool. So, um, if you, let's say I want to focus on this pepper right here and I want to, uh, get it in detail. All I gotta do is click on it and it'll zoom it in and, uh, I can click, um, as many times as I want. And, um, if I center this. Um, so you can see the pepper now, but if you want to go back a little bit or uh, if you want to see the whole image Hold down control and then click and then it'll like just uh, Zoom out and if you want to go exactly um, how it was zoomed in in the beginning a hundred percent just go to view zoom and fit image in window and it'll position everything properly so um let me see the only thing I've left for this tutorial is the text tool and uh, you can change the font size so if I want it 180 and let's say um, click here to change the font so I can choose whatever font I want so if I choose impact condensed and then I can change the color of that uh, if I want to um, Oh yeah, and also that's something I forgot to talk about, so I'll uh, show you that in a second. But um, yeah, you click on here to change the color, and then if I uh, click, and then if I start typing, so it'll look exactly like that. 
and uh, then you can just uh, then I just typed a bunch of stuff in so anyway um, I forgot to tell you about the colors now the colors are basically uh, going to like um, well let, let me just show you so this is the primary color and the secondary color but they call them foreground and background but it'll be easier to remember if you just call them primary and secondary because that's really what they are so if I um I had black as the primary color um, so all of these marks were black as you can see so except for the peppers and whatever that is so anyway so if I try to draw using um oh whoops oh yeah I forgot to change opacity so if I draw with this it'll just be black but if I change the color I can change the color however I want um, that type of thing I can use this to change it you can um, do stuff with this it's kinda really weird but um, then you can have the tri this triangle and spin it and it'll like have a weird spectrum thing and then you can choose pure colors from here um, and so if I want like this color so if I choose that color and then I press OK then when I draw it'll look like that color and um, now the reason there's a secondary color um, I'll show you in a bit but sometimes when you wanna like switch back and forth between the color like let's say I make um, red the secondary color then whenever I wanna um, switch between this um, and the other color all I have to do is click these arrows and red becomes the primary color and this uh, teal becomes the secondary so now I can draw with the red uh, paintbrush uh, so that's a nice thing and also the other reason that it's like that is let's say I want to make a gradient now um, this blend tool is basically just a gradient and um, so if I click and hold it down in one area the primary color is going to be uh, where I clicked so if I drag this to another area um, it's going to become that color the secondary color is going to be where I drag it. so if I uh, release it'll look like that so um that's how the gradient works and also why alter oh, that's another reason why there's a secondary color there needs to be one in order to make a gradient because you wouldn't want to have um, blue transforming into more blue that would just be dumb so anyway that is probably it for this tutorial except for there's one thing um, this really cool thing I discovered when I was messing around so if I just make this black so um if I just make some thing here and um, so if I want to zoom in precisely where this is I can actually center where the zoom will be by uh, clicking and dragging this uh, box that will pop up and this will be the zoom um, I don't know what to call it but it'll zoom into this uh, square that I just selected so if I let go it'll put that part of the square um, in the center of the image and it'll be zoomed in exactly like that and I can scroll and all that and then I can also just go back and fit image to window so uh, there you go um, that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one